Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jen's Junk. My name is Jen. For those of you who have watched my videos before, welcome back. For those of you who are just tuning in, thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Welcome back to day 18 of Vlogmas, everyone. And Christmas is right around the corner a week from today. So today I have a very special video. I thought that um, since the final episode of season two of The Mandalorian aired today, that I would show you guys my Funko Pop collection of The Mandalorian. So that's what this video is gonna be today. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end of the video where I have that Christmas trivia for you where you can impress everybody and you can watch me eat my daily piece of chocolate. So let's jump right into it, you guys. Um, the first Funko Pop that I am going to show you you is one of my favorite characters from season one and I'm probably gonna say that a lot because I do love a lot of the characters from the Mandalorian season one and season two so I might say that a lot in this video <laughs> um, but the first one is Quill from season one and this is number 329 so let me give you a close-up of him in the box first so we've got Quill, here's the front side. And this was started out as a four collection, a four Funko collection here. And then from the front. So Quill was an awesome character from season one. He befriended Mando and obviously, um, you all know what happened, I hope. I don't wanna spoil it for anyone who has not seen it. Um, but let's take him out of his box and let me give you a closer up here. He does come with a Star Wars stand and the detail is so cute on him with his goggles. And then you've got his backpack, and then you've got his hair coming down. Very, very cute. Just one of my favorite characters from season one, and how he helped Mando, and cared for the child, and he was just a really sweet character. And I just, I just loved him in season one. So, Quill. R.I.P. Rest in peace, Quill. All right, the next, I um, the next Funko Pop I'm going to show you is another one of my favorite characters from season one, and it is I.G. Eleven, Nurse and Protect. So here he is. I'm going to give you a close up of the box. He is number three twenty eight in that four figure series. There you can see the back the pops that were included in this first wave here, IG-11, a bounty hunter turned nursemaid. And let's go ahead, let's take him out of the box. And I just loved this character, especially when, um, well, he was awesome at the beginning too as a bounty hunter, but when Quill reprogrammed him um, to nurse and protect and, um, you know, Mando was like, I don't trust droids. I don't like droids. And then, uh, yeah, and then IG-11. So he does come on a Star Wars stand. So here is a close-up of the droid. Very, very detailed. I have to say I'm very impressed with this series of Funko Pops from The Mandalorian. The details are pretty much spot on. IG-11, so another one, rest in peace, IG-11. He was a very brave droid and a wonderful nurse and protector for Grogu. Hmm. Oh, you guys, I'm getting all the feels again. <laughs> and I have so many feels from this last episode, from the season finale of season two, which I'll get to at the end, but don't worry, I won't spoil it, so. Okay, the next character is also one of my favorite characters. 
we'll just say that they're all my favorite characters, we'll just say that, um, is Cara Dune from The Mandalorian, and she is number 327 in the four figure series. So let me show you a close up of her in the box. And there's the four series again from the side and from the front. So Cara Dune's character, I really love how she was introduced in season one and how she met Mando and how they became basically allies and, and friends, I think is a fair assessment of that. Um, and this is the, this is actually the first time I'm taking these pops out of the boxes, you guys, because if you've watched any of my other um, Funko Pop um, videos, you'll know that I am in box collector mainly. Um, and I'm still kind of trying to figure out if I want to display them outside of the box or just keep them in. So this is actually the first time I'm actually taking them out of the box and looking at all this in detail and it's just amazing. This Cara Dune is really fabulous, you guys. Let me give you a close up of her. So here she is, um, and she has all of her weapons because she is just kick-ass. She's a kick-ass warrior. You've got the Alderaan tier here, which is the Rebel Alliance sign. And look at those eyelashes. Those are gorgeous eyelashes. Here she is from the side. I love the way her hair looks. I mean, just look at that detail. I love it. She's such a cool character. So, yeah, she is definitely a strong female lead, which I really like. Um, and she's just a really cool character in terms of, in general terms anyway. So, um, Cara Dune. Um, the next one is, <laughs> again, one of my favorite characters. <laughs> and I've done some other videos uh, with this character because, um, I just really, really like this character and I want to know more about this character. Oh, I'm taking her out of the box already. Oh, yay. Okay, um, so here you guys, this is the armorer, um, from, um, the first, uh, yeah, she was added. Okay, so this is number 353. I took her out of the box already, but you can see the Mandalore, um, symbol there on the side and then you've got more of the figures here so she came in that wave and then I already started to take her out of the box um, and I actually did have her out of the box um, before and I put her back in so here she is here's a close-up and again she's on this Star Wars platform and just a fabulous fabulous Funko Pop look at the detail in the leggings and her tunic and the helmet of course and she's another kick-ass female that i loved from season one and very mysterious and we didn't really see her in season two um little disappointed but i know that there's gonna be a couple, at least a couple more seasons of The Mandalorian, so I hope we learn more about her and her backstory because I think she's a very, very interesting character and I'd really like to know more about her. Um, and of course, she is the one who sent Mando on his quest um, to find the child's rest of, you all know the story. I don't wanna spoil it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. But anyway, I love the armor. I think she's a fantastic character. Okay, so um, the next Funko Pop I'm going to show you is Mando himself. He is number 326. And there he is in his box, the Mandalorian. And then he's part of that four, you got those four figures again here. And let's go ahead, let's take him out of the box and get a close-up as well. And obviously, he is one of my favorite characters too. Um, so, let's take him out of the box. Oh, wow. Okay. This is impressive. This is pretty impressive, you guys. Okay, let's get a close-up of him. 
Here is Din. His name, real name is Din. And look at this. It looks like his helmet is kind of dirty and worn. So he's been, been in battle, seen battle. I will turn him to the side. Look at that cape. It's an awesome cape. And then look at all the detail here on his outfit, his pants, and then you've got the different colors here. I mean, it's just really very cool looking Funko Pop. Very cool. So there are different versions of Mando in different poses, and this is the first one I got. Um, it's the only one that I have so far. They've come out with, I don't know, maybe three or four other different poses of him, and I just haven't, I haven't gotten to them yet. <laughs> yet is the key word. <laughs> so again, he's obviously one of my favorite characters <laughs> from The Mandalorian, duh. Um, but I mean, just wonderful acting, just wonderful. Pedro Pascal is just fantastic. I mean, I honestly, I don't know of another er another um, actor who could have played Mando because for me, Mando is Pedro Pascal. So um, I think he's done a great job with the character and bringing him to life and you see him emoting and you just want to cry. I Okay, I cried, you guys. I, I cried. I cried last season and I cried this season. So I'm just one of those people. Okay, so um, the next one that I'm going to show you, you may have seen in one of my previous videos um, from one of my Target hauls, which you can find on my playlist, so go ahead and check that out if you have not already watched it. And this is probably the biggest one that I have, I want to say. And this is a Target find. And here we have the Mandalorian and the child. And I'm gonna give you a close up. I don't have the box up here. I just realized that um, it's actually downstairs. I did keep this one out of the box because it was just, I don't know, I just felt like it. So let me give you guys a close up. And they come on the stand and you've got the rocky terrain. You've got Mando and the child. And so again, you can see the detail from the side. Look at his cape, like it's flowing in the wind and the back of the hover pram. They really got this hover pram and the child like spot on you guys. Look at him, he's so cute. I'm gonna cry again. I'm holding in the tears, you guys. I'm holding in the tears. Oh my gosh, Grogu. I love Grogu so much, he's so precious. I just love this one. I just love the bond. Oh gosh, I hope I don't cry. I just love the bond between the two of them. They are just, um, it's an interesting pairing. You don't think it's gonna happen. You don't think that the bounty hunter of Mandalorian would um, develop feelings for this, species, these, this unknown species and Grogu stole all of our hearts. And I just love this friendship um, that developed over the couple seasons so far that we've had and I'm gonna start to cry so I'm not gonna say anything else <laughs> um, but that is one of my favorite favorite um, pop Funkos I think from the series all right you guys I've got two more to show you and they are Grogu um, so the first one I'm gonna show you is the child in his force pose using the force. And this is number 368. So I'm gonna show you him in the box first. And there he is using the force with his hand extended from the side, from the back. And I did get this one in my limited edition or special edition Mickey Loot box an opening. Um, so if you have not looked at that, um, take a look at my playlist, check it out. Um, very, very cool. This was included in it. And let's take him out of the box. All right, now this one actually opens on the side. Ooh, this is different, okay. All right. Oh, this is very different from opening the other ones here. And so we've got the child. This is actually quite, 
quite heavy. Okay, so here is the close up of the cuteness. He comes on the Star Wars stand and the detail in his cloak is absolutely spot on and just very texturized, you can tell. And then the ears, the detail in his ears and his eyes. Oh my gosh, it's so accurate. He's so cute. Oh, my precious Grogu. Oh, I just love the ears. And even on the back, I don't know if you can see. The detail is just amazing, you guys, on these. I'm really impressed with these Funko Pops. I'm just really impressed. I don't know what else to say. The next one is probably one of my favorite ones. I know that they've got, I don't know how many they have of the child anymore, you guys, to be honest with you. I just have two. Um, I know there's a lot that I'm missing, but <clears throat> eventually I'll get to them. Um, but this one is one of my favorites. Um, and it is Grogu with his little snacky. Um, this is number 379. So here he is in the box <laughs> with this little snacky. All right, Daddy Mando, you need to feed the child. The child with frog, with his little snacky. Let's take him out of the box, you guys. This is, and again, this is the first time that I'm actually taking him out of the box. It opens up on the side once again. So we're gonna pop him out here. Oh my gosh, this is just too adorable. Oh my gosh, look. So it's basically kind of the same as the figure that I just showed you, and except he's got his little snacky out of the mouth. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at him. Oh, <laughs> his little wobbly head. Oh, da, 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 da. Look at that. Oh my gosh, isn't that precious? Oh, look at that. So super, super cute. Oh my gosh, his little snacky. Oh, that was <laughs> that's funny. But that's one of my um, iconic poses that I love from season one um, when he started to have an appetite and started to eat some things. <laughs> um, so that is my Mandalorian Funko Pop collection so far, you guys. And um, I love them all, obviously, otherwise I would not have bought them all. So I can't really choose, well, yes, I can choose a favorite. I have to say that my favorite is probably this one with Mando and Grogu. I've got to say that that's probably my favorite because it has the two of them together. And I know that they, their first season two, they came out with some other ones of the two together as well, but I just haven't gotten them yet. Um, a lot of new ones are coming out and they're still pre-order. They haven't been released yet or you know, whatever. It's just crazy. The merchandise is crazy and I can't keep up with everything anymore. Um, so anyway, that was my, this is my collection that I have so far. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Leave me a comment below. Let me know which Funko was your favorite or what your favorite character or who your favorite character is from the Mandalorian. Um, and are we twins? Do we have any of the same Funko Pops? Let me know in the comments below. All right, you guys, moving on to the Christmas part of this video. Another little tidbit or a little trivia for you. Um, figgy facts. The plum pudding can, a uh, plum pudding can also be called a Christmas pudding or a figgy pudding. Normally made without figs, the term fig means raisin at least in Cornwall, England. Did y'all know what a figgy pudding was? I don't think I really knew what a figgy pudding was. I don't know, but raisins sound much more appetizing. <laughs> All right, my favorite part, my advent calendar and my piece of chocolate. So it is day 18, which is right here. So we're gonna pop this door open. Oh. Oh, this is a new one. We've got the profile of Grogu. We haven't had that one on the cardboard yet, you guys. Very cool. And here's my lovely piece of chocolate for the day. 
Mm. After that season finale, I need a lot of chocolate. I need a lot of ice cream. Maybe some wine. I don't know. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm still processing that finale. It was wild. It was just crazy. I am an emotional basket case. I already, I want to know what happens in the next season already. There are so many things that are unanswered. So there are a lot of missing pieces, a lot of threads. Um, oh my gosh, the ending just, I'm, I'm dead. Like I, I have no words. I, 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 I have no words. I'm still processing and I'm just, I'm, mm. Guys, it's bad. It's, I mean, the episode's not bad. The episode is very, very, very good. Probably my favorite one. But, oh, the feels, you guys. I cried so hard. I'm not gonna give anything away. No spoilers, spoiler free. But I am feeling all of my emotions. Every single one. You can't tell, but I am screaming inside. So, I need ice cream and a lot of chocolate. <laughs> Oh, you guys. Okay, so season two of The Mandalorian is over. Um, yeah, I have no words. I have no words, except I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you have not already. <laughs> also, leave me a comment below. Let me know which Funko Pop was your favorite from the series. And um, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, and that information is on my about page as well as in the description box below. So day 18 of Vlogmas, everybody, is finished, and stay tuned for tomorrow, day 19 of Vlogmas, and you all just will have to come back and see what I have for you tomorrow. Until then, may the force be with you. Bye.